Uh, you know, I've been paying attention to politics since the early 80s when I was in high school. And, and I remember Reagan, he didn't have the support of Congress like Bush did and like, uh, like W. Bush did and like uh, Obama did. Yet he stood at, at the Berlin Wall and called for its destruction, and the people heard it, and they took it down. And, and that was one of the, remote, the most remarkable times in, in, in our generation. I, I mean, that was, it was just a remarkable thing. But what I've seen since, I mean, George W. Bush, under uh, uh, George W. Bush had the full support of a Republican House and a Republican Senate. For six years. And what did we get? We got more government, more government expansion, more government intrusion, more debt, more spending. And what happened? And two, and, and two wars that we're still involved in. Yep. Barack Obama campaign against all of that. The the debt it is irresponsible to continue to increase the debt. And it, and he's gonna take us out of Iraq and he's gonna take us out of Afghanistan. But what happened? We we got double the debt, we got even more expansion and more government spending. And we wake up one morning and find out that our planes have bombed the hell out of Libya, and now we're also in Syria, and we're trying. To, it looks like we're trying to pick a fight not only with Russia, but where you can't blame what Russia's doing in the South China. I mean, uh, what China's doing in the South China Sea. You can't blame that on on Obama. But yeah, you know, we, I don't know what what we're going to do unless we have somebody like. A Donald Trump to come along, Donald and, Trump, and take over. Don't you but think he's? Thing about I mean, this, you know, don't you think he Donald, might just get us into yeah, World War Three? Yeah, has Donald Trump given he any indication? The hell out of me. Yeah, I mean, has Donald has Trump Donald Trump given any indication at all, uh, Charles? Yeah. That has he given any indication that he is against war? I don't think that's the case. I don't know what he'll do. That's the problem. I know what Jeb Bush will do. And I know what Hillary Clinton will do, and that scares me even more. So what are we going to do? I say secede. Yeah. Well, get the hell out. What's the alternative? Get, get out of the huh? union. Escape from uh, – South Carolina, Carolina tried it once. They should try it again. Yeah, I, I agree with that. The uh, – the uh, what do they call that? The, uh, the state – the uh, convention of states. No, you wouldn't need that to secede. To you wouldn't need that to secede. You, you could just uh, the state legislature could probably pass something and move forward with a with a plan to secede. It's it's a kind of a pie in the sky uh, pipe dream, but you know, so is the idea of changing the federal government. I mean, the idea that uh, anybody's we'll going to we'll, we'll take this into consideration. You know, we've got all this commotion about the Confederate flag. You know what that Confederate flag really represents? Well, it, it represents what can happen when the federal government pushes too far. 600,000 people died in that war. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, and Charles. They want to get that. They I want appreciate to it. I really appreciate your calls and your, your call and your thoughts tonight.